Hey everybody, Kurt here from RelaxTrader.com and I wanted to make a quick companion video uh, to this post that I put out a couple of weeks ago called Three Easy Lines of Code to Swing Trade SPY. Now if you don't know, SPY is the ETF that tracks the S&P 500 and it is the largest ETF uh, in the world and allows for easy swing trading because it's so liquid and uh, easy to get in and out of quick trades. And uh, so I just figured that we would step through this article together and then we'd look at the code. Uh, it's extremely simple. It's just three lines that you can uh, just kind of write down on a napkin almost or like just use an Excel spreadsheet to track. And you can make uh, unbelievably uh, profitable trades 82% uh, of the time. Uh, and you know, let, let's just step through this together. I think that it's important to know that uh, systematic trading is not that hard to get into and uh, it's really going to affect the way you look at the markets and the way you look at your account in general. Uh, you know, it's very important to understand the rules and also the odds of every single trade you take. Because um, if you don't, then how do you know how much money to risk? How do you know how to manage the trade? How do you know what to expect? Um, so, you know, I'm all about testing systems and testing ideas before jumping into the market at all uh, before risking a dime until I know the exact uh, percentage chance I have of making money. So let's just quickly roll through this together. You know, the first thing I want to talk about is how the trend is your friend. Uh, I can't think of anything more anxiety producing or give you more sleepless nights or, uh, you know, drive your account lower than trading against the trend. You know, I used to do that when I was younger, first starting out. I would try to pick tops, uh, pick bottoms, try to short stocks that were in uptrends, try to short the S&P 500 when it was an uptrend. And, you know, it never really worked. Uh, in fact, I lost a lot of money trying to do that. And I think I was just doing that to try to prove I was right to my friends uh, and just say that, you know, I picked the top. Oh, my gosh, the fix is in. I did it. And, uh, you know, it, it just would go against me and eventually I'd have to cover my short and uh, be down, you know, big down some big bucks. And then I realized that, you know, if you just trade with the trend, it is so much easier. Uh, you have that wind at your back, uh, driving prices higher. And then, you know, you can make trades in that direction of the trend and they usually will work out for you. Um, you know, I, I can't stress this enough that trading in the direction of the trend is absolutely paramount uh, to do. Uh, so how do we measure trend? Well, the easiest way to do that is just with a simple moving average. A lot of people use the 100 or 200 day moving average, but most people use this on Wall Street uh, to measure trend and it's kind of mined to death. So I figured that we'd use something a little off the beaten trail and I found that 66 works really well for determining uh, the trend of the S&P 500. So let's just say that uh, the close of today is above the average, the simple moving average of the closes of 66 days. Now, if the close is above that, we're in an uptrend and we want to trade in the direction of the trend. And, uh, you know, this provides us a good baseline for figuring out whether we're, whether we're going to be buying or whether we're going to be uh, shorting. And shorting would be if the close is lower than this average. Now, how do we tell the computer what to do in terms of buying dips. You want to buy dips in uptrends in the S&P 500 because the S&P 500 is a mean reverting market, which means that it'll trend in a particular direction, but it'll also chop around its, uh, its moving average on a lower time frame or a faster time frame, I should say. And it's really easy to compound your account rapidly by taking these quick swing trades and buying more shares as you make more profits in your account uh, increases. So let's just buy dips in an uptrending market. And how do we tell the computer what a dip is? Well, the easiest way to do that I found is just with this line of code. If the close of uh, today is the lowest close in three days, that's our dip and we want to be buyers. We want to buy the dips in uptrends. And so I found that three works really well for capturing short term uh, dips in the market. And then, you know, we need to figure out when to sell. And selling is the hardest part of trading because it's really easy to get into a trade and not really know where to go with it. Um, you know, knowing when to sell is more important than knowing when to buy. You know, it's easy to get into a trade and let it turn into a long-term hold. And that will just kill your opportunity cost for making more trades. You know, if you have a loser, it's important to sell it quickly. Uh, and also the same thing with a winner. 
you want especially in swing trading you want to be able to compound your account by taking these rapid quick swing trades so the best way to do that i found is this with this last line here at the close of the highest close in 19 days 19 works really well you want to sell so you just want to get in and out and that's really important so here's a quick flow chart of this uh, three lines of code uh, that you can write down on a napkin, a sheet of paper, and just keep track of this in your head or, you know, or, or document it more. And you'll see that there's a lot of conditions where we're doing nothing. You know, it has to, the S&P 500 or SPY has to go through these certain gates, if you will, for us to really want to get into a high probability trade. So as we were saying before, is the SPY above the moving average, 60 day, six day moving average? Is today's close, the lowest close in three days? Then we buy. Now, once we're in a long position, if the close is above the highest close in 19 days, we sell. And it's just that easy. This three-step process really will bring you into the world of systematic trading, bring you into my world of testing your systems first. Uh, and I just want to show you how incredibly profitable this incredibly simple system is. Um, look at all these winning trades. Now, I wrote this back in here somewhere, and it's just continued to pump out trades uh, in real time. Yeah, there's some losers in here, and they really sting. They're really fast, though. They're fast uh, losers, kind of like ripping off a Band-Aid. Uh, and then you'll get these lots of little winners in here that just make up for those losses and continue to uh, drive your account higher over time. So let's look at some examples here. These are just some typical examples of the S&P 500 chopping around. Just look how much chop there is, uh, especially in SPY. You can just grab the low, sell the high, grab the low, sell the high, grab the low, sell the high again and again and again. And you'll reinvest those profits for even more shares. And your account will look a little exponential. It won't look like so linear as this. It'll start to go exponential on you. And that's the real key to wealth uh, uh, creation. So let's look at the statistics here. 82% winners. That's just remarkable. I've never seen, I've never really uh, designed a system that's so simple and so profitable. Um, you know, I've designed a lot more sophisticated strategies that I personally use. Uh, to trade SPY in the uh, NAS, uh, sorry the S&P 500 futures market as well. That uh, kind of reduces these losses in here and is a little smoother. Uh, I personally don't trade this system, but you absolutely can if you feel like it just to get your feet wet and uh, enter the world of tested systems. Uh, but 82% winners. I mean, you'll have uh, you know losers in there too, but 82% is just remarkable for such a short. Uh, set of rules uh, that we have here. So let's go down to the code and take a look at that. You know, uh, we have some average true range in here, which is really important for figuring out how to position, position size your trades. You know, here's your portfolio size, you're dividing by the close times ATR. And uh, you know, like uh, the reason why we use ATR is say you were trading back in 2008, 2009, when the market was just going, absolutely haywire or during the covid crash things were going absolutely insane atr would be high the average true range would be high and since it's in the denominator that would reduce the number of shares that you're purchasing and then when the market is calm this atr gets lower and since it's in the denominator you're going to start to buy more shares so this is a really important line uh, that you should take into consideration when uh, buying and selling any sort of stock any sort of etf uh, you really want to keep an eye on ATR. But then let's just go to these three rules. Okay, here's the close. Uh, is the lowest close in three days. It's our lowest close variable set up here. And the close is above the moving average. Uh, our trend average variable up here, which is set uh, right here, 66. Then we're going to be buying. And this is the code to buy. This is all on TradeStation, by the way. Uh, you can be ported over to any um, automated system, automated uh, broker system, really, really easily. You can just do that uh, yourself, or you can contact me, and I can try to do it for you. Super, super, super simple. Uh, and then here's the sell. If we're in a position, a long position, which we've done here, we uh, bought our shares, and the close is the highest close in 19 days, then we just sell it. We just sell it, and we're done with the trade, and we move on to the next trade. 
and you'll see that a lot of these trades end up looking like this in and out in and out like a fast ship uh, you know you're moving quickly in a large ocean and just gobbling up points like Pac-Man it's pretty remarkable so I hope that helps you out when you're trading uh, you know I'm all about testing my ideas first I've tested so many systems that look terrible uh, in real time but they look great in their back test so it's important to understand testing uh, I go through a lot of that on my blog here about the different types of testing, back testing, walk forward testing, real time testing. Uh, and so, you know, I really hope that this exposes you to the ideas that uh, simple rules work and you need to test your ideas first. Uh, please, please, please don't risk a dime of your money until you test your trading hypotheses uh with a computer and with a computer uh system computerized uh program like i just showed you here just three easy lines can pump out really great profits uh so yeah i poke around with the blog i really hope you enjoy your time uh here uh there's lots of different uh systems here that i've displayed and um you can just go through these add comments if you wish or just get in touch with me i'm more than willing to help all the traders out especially if you're new to this sort of style. Um, you know, it, I call myself the relaxed trader for a reason, and that's because I know exact odds of every single trade I make um, based on, you know, my back testing and walk forward testing and real time testing. So I hope that really helps you out. Please enjoy your time here. I also encourage you to take a test drive of my stock trading system that swing trades stocks. Uh, because stocks is really where the money is at. You can really compound your account uh, quickly with high growth stocks, uh, which we swing trade for very profitable odds. Uh, so, yep, give me, a, uh, give me an email at kurtrelaxtrader.com. I'll get back to you. And uh, yeah, enjoy your time here. This is Kurt signing out.